Just the black powder podcast, kick up your feet, lean on your arm rest, and get your mind blessed on this conquest. Hold a grip like a 12 gauge, let this moment kick. Black people moving and having some gun ownership. I carry weight, not to keep the camera safe. It's thinking about you, my kids, and my parents' faces. The big topics, they don't want to involve us. They were novice, but now we're moving hard with revolvers. This the black powder podcast, is getting it started. Yeah. Primer set the powder is lit. It's time to get on target. Welcome to another episode of the Black Party Podcast. As always, I'm your host, Yasuke Fett. And just a general reminder of your marching orders and why we have created the Black Powder Podcast. The main mission is to change the social view of black society and firearms. How do we do that? Glad you asked. We talk, walk, read, write, and think about it to find a better solution for a brighter future for the proper protection of black people. Join us through education, practice, and safety as we take down the stigma of black people and guns one discussion at a time. And just a general reminder, you cannot do a mag dump without a couple of rounds. So if you like what you're hearing and you happen to like this show, send out an email to blackpowderpodcast at gmail.com and let me know what your favorite episode is. Whether or not you agree, disagree, or have questions, please make sure to send them to blackpowderpodcast at gmail.com. And always... Feel free to like, share, and subscribe. The only way to continue to grow is to continue to share this knowledge with other people. And the only way to even get the message out is to let everyone know. So once again, if you like what you heard and would like to continue to hear, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, you can find us on multiple platforms, especially the main ones. Uh, as of recently, we are now on Spotify, Apple iTunes, Google Podcast, Amazon Music, and Audible. We need more educators. Um, that's why I, know I support people, you know, like Eric, you know, I support people like, uh, I know Maria's not an instructor, but she's out there uh, consistently training and getting better. And I support people like Nina Flores or you know, Ursula 308, those people who are actually out there training, educating, you know, doing, the, doing the damn thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Who act out here, boots on the ground, just people like Body Bio and stuff. Um, you know, I don't know too much about Maz Tor- Torre, but you know, if he's here to help educate black people, um, sure. You know, I just I just don't know too much about him. But you know, again, if you're here to help, I'm all for it. Because I can't teach us all. Yeah, true. And and Maj, he, he looks like he's on the level, man, from what I can see. Because he is uh he is trying to get more uh, politically active, I'd say. And uh, which, is, which is which is fine. But again, we don't need one black person to do everything. If Maj mm-hmm. wants to be more political and have uh, a black two-way representation politically, great. Um, I would love to see if we had a, a black woman also coming there to represent the black women politically. All right, but when it comes to like you know community issues, we should have people for that. When it comes to so other issues, we should have people for that. We should have black people in multiple fields to you know cover everything, not just one black person. Because we just have one, right. like a Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. What are they going to do? They're just going to kill them and just. And then everything's going to go to shambles because you put everything, all your eggs in one basket and you lost that basket. So. Yeah. Well, if anything, it's got to be the right black people, too, because, you know, Maj can do everything that he wants to. But if he's going up against some somebody, say, like, say, uh, for example, um, you got Marcel Dixon going against James Clyburn up in, uh, I think, is this North Carolina, South Carolina, around that area, right? The biggest thing he has to worry about is the already established uh, political record of Clyburn and everybody that's kind of brainwashed by what he what he's done in the past, because if anything, he has no interest in actually helping his own people. So he's going up against that. But the thing is, he he needs who's more who's people. Gun? I've never heard of this again. I, yeah, I do the gun stuff. I'm anything like political, really. That's not like about gun control and shit. I really don't be following, you know, because this is probably I don't like politics. I don't understand mm-hmm. the point really of politicians. It seems like the one position where you just tell people to, the you know, do stuff for me before I do stuff for you. <laughs> you know, they want I you know. to vote them in office, give them all this money and shit, and say so you put me on. Then I'll do what you want me to do. They'll be like, if you get the millionaires and rich right now. Like if you like the Democratic Party, 
they got billions of dollars and they want to really get to the black community. Why not help fix things in the black community before you start asking for the vote? So when you go to them, you're like, hey, you said this school was, uh, the school's education was messed up. So we hired the best teachers or we educated these teachers. And now your schools have gone from F and D schools to A and B schools. Uh, you said you guys didn't have the proper uh, jobs in your community to help black men stay out of gangs and prison. We helped create all these jobs. Now there's an influx of lawyers and doctors and technicians and tradesmen and craftsmen, right? That would make your selling point a lot better to the black community versus we ain't did shit for you the last term or any other term, but I swear to you, in this next term, we will, <laughs> right? That, that's been the MO. That's been and, and basically, I mean, I can agree with that, but the biggest problem is the black representation that you were supposed to have long ago, especially after the, the Martin Luther King mm-hmm. assassination, that's when everything changed even uh, worse because he was sold out. But you got those same people that sold him out being political figures and representations for quote unquote black people. Like, you know, I can respect Jesse Jackson for uh, going to the polling areas in Georgia and trying to get more polling machines opened up. But at the end of the day, I don't really see him doing that for the quote unquote benefit of black people. I see him doing that for the benefit of the Democratic Party because black people are a quote unquote monolith that are always going to vote Democrat. That's why he did that. Just like when Stacey Abrams ran over here, she wasn't running so she can get an office. She was running so she can get more votes for Biden. She was never going to win the office, especially since she didn't go into black areas that involve black men. So it's like there's a lot of plot twist in politics to where black people are continuously being utilized against themselves. That's why I'm, I'm looking at it like if we actually got somebody who's 10 toes down and is actually trying to make changes and do stuff positively for black society and not just talking up their ass. They would never, they would, yeah. first of all, you know, if they was all about that, they would never have been considered for that position to begin with. You know, it's yeah, just but, again, it's what it is. America it was born and forged on racism. And that shit hasn't gone away just because you see black people with money now or because we're not slaves. I mean, we're not slaves in chains. We're slaves in, in uh, financially slaves, you know, or like missile slaves, but yeah, the game's always been dirty, man. I was thinking, I was thinking that future video. We walk around like it's the evil world we live in. It's true, man. It's just and that's why I tell black people, you know, what are you going to do to fix it? As long as we sit here complaining about it, the longer it carries out. The sooner we start doing something about it, the sooner we can end it, or you know, something like that. Well, you know, like uh, Frederick Douglass said back then, man, there's like three boxes that influences black people. The bullet box, the ballot box, and the jewelry box. The jewelry box is taken away from us. We've had the bullet box, but even that was taken away from us. The well, ballot box is that, utilized If black people us. lost that jewelry box, they definitely found it with all them gold grills and diamond chains and pendants and shit. So they definitely found the jewelry box. <laughs> nah, they... <laughs> They, they ain't going to give us the jewelry box. That's why you got so many studies on reparations right now, because they don't have the intentions of doing it, because the best way that they can make money off of black society is to always uh, they, they push us forward as like the guinea pigs. You know, they, they make money off our pain because, I mean, look right, at all that that, that, is, that has happened in the past recently. I mean, we think, I mean, I, I just ask black people the same thing. We The roles were flipped and white people were oppressed. And you knew that giving them reparations would give them the opportunity to challenge you or challenge your position. Would black people do it? 90% of them are going to say no. And so the same thing when it comes to them giving us reparations. They know, yes, there's going to be a lot of Negroes that do dumb shit. But they also know there's going to be a lot of Negroes who are going to start doing the right shit. That's the ones they're afraid of, right? We start giving the black people all this money. They start buying land. They start investing in themselves and their communities and building jobs and shit. And next thing you know, they don't need us no more, or they're outpacing us. Yep. You kind of see you you can hear and sound like where like a a, a racist politi- white politician would be like, nah, this can't happen. You know, like, no matter how much they they cry and scream, it's like the Epstein list. You know, they they're you think they're gonna give yes. you every name on that list? Fuck no. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, give them the first one through five. Skip six, seven. 
Give yeah, them exactly. eight, 13 and 55. <laughs> you what right, I can see, you right. know what I can see America doing? Reaching out to all those people on that list and I'm saying, I want $100 million for your name to be removed off this list. Right? And so if you can't pay that, your name is getting revealed. I can see America do some shady, grimy shit like that. Mm-hmm. That wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> that, exactly. We know how we know how our country is better than anybody because we've been living here. We've been fighting against it. <laughs> mm-hmm. so. yeah, that's, that's true, man. I don't know. Maybe I'm just uh, you know, maybe I'm just not willing to give you're, up. You're a conspiracy theorist. That's what you are. Conspiracy theorist. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that, but shoot, I ain't got no tin foil coup for you or anything. So hey, <laughs> brother, it's been good talking with you, man. Where can everybody find you at? Uh, you can find me at YouTube um, or Facebook. Locks, locks and load firearms review. So it's L O C S, like dreadlocks. L O C S, letter N L O A D. Uh, I even people be like, it's locked and loaded. No, there's no E D. It's just locks and load firearm reviews it's locks and load on instagram and if you want to get firearm training by me uh, i restarted my training company with uh me and eric undead profit uh that is wagunda nation.net so I, i'm sure they can see it when you do the description on the for the podcast i don't know if it's gonna be on spotify all platforms yeah it's probably gonna be on as many platforms as i can put it on i'll make sure to put the links down there too man yeah hey, just don't put it on your only fans <laughs> yeah, they ain't making a lot of money. I mean, I keep trying to sell the feet pictures. No luck. Uh, uh you gotta, you gotta do, you gotta do week, weeky feet. <laughs> <laughs> Hell no, nah, man. That thing probably does exist. I don't know. <laughs> hey, don't All right, man. All right, man. Yeah. I appreciate you having me on. Hey, hey, thank you. I appreciate you for uh, making time for this too, man. Hey, no problem, man. You know, I always like to make time for our people. Definitely. And uh, hey, if you want to come back, uh, I'll reach out to you, man, because I got some uh, I got some ideas brewing on the back burner that I'm trying to get more people involved in. So I'll keep you updated. Yeah, let me know. All right, cool. Bet. Uh, bet. All right, peace. This the Black Powder Podcast, let's get it split. We got the wisdom hitting targets with a mark with precision. We're having fun in the booth, we're running gun for the truth. Every future black gun owner, we're spreading the news. We do it legal, we're moving regal and blessing the people. Some hopes for the culture, we keep it locked like guns in our holster. Holding it down as we're loading the rounds. If they were nervous back then, right. then they're gonna be scared of us now. Black Powder Podcast, we'll be back in a while. Yeah.